just waiting for the UK border control. Been through the French one. I have my lunch. And we've had the drugs test. Steering will check. All clear. And I'm waiting to get on. So some of the tech we never use in the vehicle is this TV thing here. Not the TV bit, we sometimes stream that stuff. But uh, the football is on tonight. And uh, apparently we need to watch it. Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been told to by um, Paul. So uh, we have an aerial that we've never tried. So we thought we'd try and find a French TV channel. So. Here is the aerial in the cupboard, which I assume somehow needs to be. Yeah, you sort of undo that collar, I think, and push it up like that, and then not forget that it's pushed up. I've got something that says country here, I'm assuming I can find. Just boarding. Benefits of being on the tunnel in a camper van. Somebody's having a little snoozy up there. Well, that's excellent. So, Chris is cooking the breakfast. And I have actually managed to get channel M6, which allegedly is where the footballing is being played. Uh, oh, hang on. <laughs> It's just starting to go fragmented. I think it's testing when the gold comes to make sure it freezes. Yeah, yeah. I was just going to say, it would be a lot more stressful if you Paul was with us and there was a chance of him not watching the football. Yeah, so no, we don't really care. Well, we don't care. No, I'm quite excited actually, watch it. but yeah. not like Paul would be. No. Mm -hmm. It's only a game. French bacon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the bacon in there? Oh well. I might give a taste of bacon on the mushroom. <laughs> New sad Keisha. Had to put up with us for a week on her own. Happy Bastille Day breakfast. Oh, yeah. We've done a French breakfast, which is a <laughs> English breakfast with <laughs> not very good bacon and some baguette on it. Yeah. Oh, and testing the TV for later, which appears to have the French version of Top Gear on it. But anyway. Oh, that's not it. That's something else. An advert for later. Nice. Mm. Where they, um, in my opinion, fall behind with the bacon, they do make up for it with the bread and the cheese and the wine. <laughs> and the culture. And the culture. And the space. And the architecture. Mm. And the politeness. <laughs> <laughs> the bonhomie. We're talking about food. Oh. Oh, yeah, I like going into French supermarkets because they do nice lingerie and it's cheap, quite cheap. However, we have a foil in our plan. So if I wear this forevermore, I'll be setting off every security <laughs> device between France and oh, just everywhere. So now not only Am I going to have to find, take it back? I'm going to have to find another car for to take it back to. And I've had to rummage through the bin to find my receipt. Oh, wow.
annoying. Oh, didn't realise that was a problem. Easy for that. It's just a little cafe. It's just on the outside of the of the site. On there you go. And uh, Chris has just gone into yeah, a jacket. Before we head off to some more, just 15k. Nothing too uh, strenuous. <laughs> Good, take two. To some more on one of the fabulous cycle rides, cycle routes. We haven't passed another with one person to walk in. We haven't passed another bike or another vehicle. That's all right, I'm talking to myself. I'm videoing myself. <laughs> so we're going to go and explore some more with Kisha Bear. Great trip. Yeah, you just come off the a, no, M, where do we live? M27. So, nearly home. The last half a mile. So what, what have we done? We filled up how many times? Three times? Fuel. Yeah? Yeah. We have three tanks of fuel, which is about 100 or so. Yeah. Between 100, 130 euros. about 100 euros in tolls in total, something like that, yeah. and a lot more in wine, and home in plenty of time, put some washing on, have a shower, and go and meet up with some friends to watch the football. And what's that like? the Bouvet Lager Day. It's on, it, on the glass, on the other side of the glass. Oh yeah, that's the place you could have gone. It's, um, mm. it's on my back. It's probably shut today though. Mm. Kiwi Surose.
So, good evening from Samoa, or somewhere close. The good news is we managed to get our TV going to watch the football. The bad news is our number plate gave us away and someone walked past and went, anyway, save your place at the table, so see you for the match. <sighs> On his vape. So that is our evening, so enjoy yours. Yeah. So, more wine. More wine. so um time to walk back then yeah morning lazy morning this morning i've been putting the bikes away because we're not going to go out today and chris is going to get the uh going to do the uh laundry uh and what have you that's my bike in oh the wanderer returns it wouldn't be that simple, could it? Well, it is France. So, I went to put the washing in the washing machine, then yeah. read the sign, and it said you need to get a token. So, I thought, fair enough, I'll leave it in the washing machine, go out to the reception, yeah. or go up to the bar and say, could I have a token? Five euros with my five euros. They said, no. <laughs> reception is fermé. It's all two o'clock. Of course, it's everything so, shuts till two. But why can they sell a token at the bar or the shop? Oh no, it has to be reception, which is closed till two o'clock. <laughs> oh well, Let's get the rosé out then. Watching it update. Very stressful, actually. Why? Well, because apparently I went to the washing machine and put <clears throat> the washing in. Then I went to the reception. Then I had to wait because there's only one person in reception till they finish the phone call. So then. I said, could I have a token, which is five euros. She gave, I gave her the five euros, she gave me the token. So then I went back to the washing machine, tried to put the token in, the token was too big. So then, I, so then I went back to reception, said the token, oh no, she was on the phone again, <laughs> trying to make a booking. I had to wait for them to finish there. So then I said, the token's too big. She went, token too big? And I went, yeah, it's too big. It won't fit in the hole for the washing machine. Well, where are you? So then I had to show her on the map what pitch we were. And then I had to show her what washing machine I was using. And then she said, oh, oh, I thought you meant the other washing machine on the other end of the toilet block. They have different tokens, different size tokens, depending on what machine you're using. <laughs> Well, Keisha and I have been very busy, haven't we, evaluating this uh, demi sec. Oh, is that what it is? Anjou. Well, it okay. must be, mustn't it? I reckon. Get it out of its holster. Rose d'Anjou. The Anjou region is where we are right now. Fuck. <laughs> 
Steve's trying to photograph wildlife. <laughs> and how do we do? Yes, everything's clean and yeah, no issues that time. Excellent. So this is just literally a two minute walk from our campsite which is down there, Camping Les Nobis in Muriel Belay. Muriel Belay, I think that's what it's called. Just nipping up into the village to try and get a meal or see if they're open tonight. I will see. I'm sure it doesn't look as steep as it actually is. This is what's at the top of the stairs. Nice little village. Again, the running theme is it's a bank holiday, so everything's shut, of course. Uh, we're just hoping the restaurant's open. Well, there's a tobacco or a bar open down there somewhere. Ooh, let me get out of the way. And the chateau, that's what's on top of the hill. It's probably shut. Yeah. Very nice. Yep, very nice in there. Very shut. Oh, sorry. No shams. The sample of our wine elsewhere. <laughs> this is the bar restaurant at Camping Le Nobis. The reception is over there. And that's inside. You get a little shop table, games room for the kids, ice cream. Kishaba, Kishaba, are you beautiful? Yeah, the service point is just out here beside the communal barbecues and uh, most of this is, most of the site is, well it's a combination really, but it's lots of freestanding units you can come and rent. Well it's quite compact, but uh, yeah, it's pretty good. All pitch. Bay area. So we're in Montreal Ballet, which is a beautiful little village in the middle of lots of vineyards and on the river Thuet or Thuet. Um, it's in the Pays de la Loire area or region and the department is Maine et la Loire. We'll put a picture on the screen for you now. 
um so it's beautiful it's got a, its own um chateau which has been inhabited by the same family for 200 years and they've got a um their own vineyard so they sell wine in the um chateau as well so it's absolutely lovely um what did you think of the village oh it was hilly and closed because it's bank holiday monday after uh bastille day mm. uh, but i did think it was a very nice village very difficult for camper vans to go through though there is an airs up there uh, but just be careful what route you take make sure you look at the signs yeah when you first come into the village it says um camping lane lobbies um so you expect to go down there but there's a big sign saying no camper vans so and you can see why when you get into the village because there's beautiful um ornamental arches from the ramparts and uh you wouldn't get a camper van through there so we went through um into the village and then down a hill and i don't know whether that's the only route but i think some camper vans will still struggle with that some big camper vans mm. although i have seen big camper vans here so it's obviously doable somehow yeah there's some a a class ones here yeah i don't think they like the tags here the two axle ones wouldn't no. be too good <clears throat> no so in the village there is a boulanger lingerie and patisserie there's a couple of bars um a, a nice restaurant down by the village we didn't have we didn't is is it bank holiday today yes we didn't see a lot of evidence of a lot of restaurants whether we missed them but there was a beautiful restaurant right down by the river um that looked very nice although we did come back and eat at the campsite Chateau de Brissac um, in Brissac 